Hey everyone, it's Jenna. Welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year. It's just the very beginning of 2022 and Hearth and Hand with Magnolia has already released their Fresh Start collection and Threshold with Studio McGee is slowly releasing new items as well. Today I'm going to be taking you guys through Target, showing you all of my favorite items, giving you styling tips and ideas for them, and even showing you guys some high-end dupes that some of these items resemble. So should be a really fun video. I do apologize in advance if some of these things are sold out. You guys know these new collections tend to sell out really quickly, but I worked really hard to get this video out on time. And if you guys have any questions about certain items, I have everything linked below in order of how they appear in the video. So Threshold with Studio McGee specifically is going to be slowly releasing a lot of new items over the next couple of months. So make sure you guys are subscribed. I will update you guys so you don't miss any of it. But without further ado, let's go to Target. Okay, so here at Target, both Threshold by Studio McGee and the Hearth and Hand with Magnolia line have so many new decor items out right now. And first, we are going to be checking out the Threshold by Studio McGee line. And the first thing that I noticed with this collection is the Sandy Modern Vase collection. And these kind of remind me of something you would find at West Elm or CB2, just for a lot cheaper. And this collection is so versatile because there are so many different shapes and purposes that you can use each one of these for. So they have a really pretty bowl that you can fill with a seasonal bowl filler or even a plant pedestal you can use to elevate your plants and just help them make more of a statement and they also have these really pretty hanging faux plants that would look really gorgeous popped in a corner over a desk or maybe over a shower or even over a kitchen window or something like that they'd look really pretty just popped on a coat rack to add a little organic looking touch just subtle and sweet so i'm also loving these ceramic vases that are made to to look vintage mixing new and old really helps your space to have a more dynamic look and even though these are new they have that antique and vintage look which adds so much character to your space and i did notice that each one is a little unique in its coloring some are lighter and cooler and others are a little bit warmer and slightly darker these come in three different colors and shapes that look great paired together or just by themselves i also really like this circular marble tray this would be really nice for popping on a console table as a little catch-all for keys and a candle or just a full-on candle tray on maybe a coffee table or in a bathroom these two seem to have a little bit of a difference when it comes to the overall speckling and pattern of them so it might be fun to kind of pick them out in store i also love the texture on this sweet little vase it was only 25 dollars, and i think it'd be really cute in a bathroom maybe on a countertop or something like that they also had this really pretty wicker magazine holder that gave me some major vintage vibes as well it looked really similar to this vintage one from the 70s that is actually priced at 443 dollars so i like that this one is only 50 dollars and it holds a lot of magazines and then moving on to some of the smaller furniture type pieces we have the thatcher stool now this guy has been available online for a little while but it is a new in-store item and they also have this available in a larger bench as well and i love how this looks really similar to the Ar lean stool at lulu in georgia which is priced at nearly 300 dollars. so the 70 dollars price tag on this one is great in comparison and this would look really pretty styled next to a sofa and would be a great functional piece of decor so you could have somewhere to rest your drink remote or book or you know whatever so I actually spotted some pieces that are not yet available online, but I will add them to the description box once they hit target site. And they look like they might have another couple coordinating pieces that go with this side table. I noticed that one of the styled photos for a rattan vase has a similar looking console table pictured underneath it. So I'm excited for that to hopefully hit the site soon. I also spotted a coordinating mirror. It has this really kind of pretty crisscross detail in the corners and and I love the detail of the wood and how it kind of goes with that side table. So I will also put that in the description once I find the link online. But as for that new rattan vase in the photo, I actually saw that in store too. And I love how this kind of has a vintage boho feel and filling it up with stems or florals would be super easy if you just popped a glass or a jar inside of it. They also have some great shelf styling decor in these new collections. If you have shelves that are looking just a little bit bare after taking down the holiday decor, I love these marble rings. I think that they're so beautiful and elegant and would look gorgeous just stacked on top of a stack of books for some visual interest, maybe on your coffee table or, you know, a shelf. 
There's also a lot of really cute canisters in these new collections. I love the little ring detail on the top of this one. And I think that canisters are really popular right now just because they're super functional and you can hide anything in them like cotton balls, cards, candy, whatever. And they just look really pretty sitting on a shelf or a counter. They also have this really unique set of bookends and I love how the threshold line always has some designer looking bookends for great prices. And brass is always a great accent to break things up if you have too much wood or one type of material or color in your space. Now this lamp gives me major Serena and Lily vibes with the white base and rattan shade. This is great for adding those organic natural textures to your space to make it breathe easier. And I'm not sure how it would look on your wall with the light pouring through all those tiny cracks, but it's definitely one of those unique designer pieces that I think they took a risk with. Speaking of unique designer pieces, I loved these bells. Bells were a big trend during Christmas 2021 and I love that we are bringing them into our everyday decor in 2022. These would look so cute hung on some wooden pegs, resting on a stack of books, or you can even use them as wind chimes out on a porch or a patio. So next we are moving on to the hearth and hand with magnolia section and this new collection seems to be a little bit more well established online and a lot more has been released on the website. And one of the things that I feel like was done really well with this collection was the faux plants and greenery. I absolutely love this potted fern and it's only 25 bucks and that includes the pot which I think is a really great value. Another thing I was instantly drawn to in this section was this faux potted tree and I love the pot that it comes in and how twiggy the trunk of it is and just how realistic it looks. This guy is a little bit on the shorter side at 55 inches and is priced at $100. You guys know I love my olive trees but I really like this one because it still looks very realistic and rustic but it's something different and if you're like me and have an olive tree or olive stems in almost every room of your home I think this adds some great variety and still has that rustic charm. And another thing that this collection has a lot of are mini plants. And I love that they did this because sometimes we don't have a ton of room for a full on vase and flowers or stems, but we just need a little punch of something green and leafy. And these are great for when you are grouping items together in groups of three, arranging items in a tray, or accenting items on a bathroom or a kitchen countertop. It's just nice to have some smaller scale faux greenery available as well. And I love that this collection has that. I also love this brass mirror with the arched detail. It is on the smaller side, but it would look great popped over a console table or on a small hallway wall as a little accent. So something I really like about this collection is that not only do they have gorgeous home decor, but they also have some really aesthetic, practical items that you can use in your everyday life as well. I actually bought this small pitcher already and I just keep it on our kitchen counter to fill up my dog's water bowl, refill my essential oil diffuser and water my cooking herbs. I also love that it was only $15 and I love this larger one as well but just FYI it does not come with the greenery stems that was something that someone had put in there. I love that they have these planters in different sizes for when we want to plant some herbs or just to try to bring in some real plants into our space as well. I also appreciate that these guys have a removable drainage hole making them very practical. I also thought this little recipe book was so cute. It's only $15. I love the tan neutral appearance of it. It almost looks like leather, but it's not. I like that you can organize your recipes into categories, making them easy to find. But I guess the only bummer about this is that there's only, you know, about five or so cards per category. And I personally don't think that's very useful. I just wish there were more, but it is cute and would make maybe a cute gift if you wanted to fill them out for somebody. I also really liked this berry bowl, perfect for setting out at a brunch or storing your berries in the fridge. They also have it in a larger size and it's more of like a sour cream color, but I was really impressed with the smaller one's price. It was only $12.99 and I actually bought one for myself. To go along with those pitchers, they have these really cute little small striped plates. They're only four bucks each and then they also have some really cute coffee mugs as well. I like these guys because they are a little bit bigger than those small kind of sour cream colored ones. Ones that they had for a little while. I think that these just hold a little more and I love the subtle striping on them. And then lastly, we have these really pretty textured ceramic bathroom accessories. I love this tray and how it would be a really great catch-all for jewelry, toothpaste, perfume, lotion, or just those everyday items that you keep out on the counter. This mini dish is also perfect for keeping earrings in. And I love the fun canisters with the ring detail. They come in three colors and the smallest is $6 and the largest is $13, which I think is a really great value for some gorgeous, aesthetic, neutral, functional storage. 
Okay, so that was really everything that I saw in store. I love taking you guys through so you can kind of see everything in person, see the coloring, the sizing, and the textures. But there are a couple things that I saw online that either are not available in store or I just didn't see them in my stores and there's some really good pieces. So I just wanted to share them with you guys real quick. And the first one I actually bought myself. It is this Rosemary Topiary by Threshold. And I think this is absolutely gorgeous. I love this so much because it's not an olive tree or olive stems, but it's it still really has that rustic look, which I love. I think it makes your home look super expensive. I think this would look so pretty just popped on a shelf or maybe even your dining table or a coffee table, just really anywhere you want a really cute rustic accent. I think this would be pretty on a dresser, on a nightstand, on a desk, wherever. It's definitely a very versatile piece and it's only $20. I love the kind of rustic pot that it comes in. I think that is gorgeous. And then it also has kind of like a uh, counterpart that goes with it. It's also this potted rosemary for $15. I will say on the reviews, people are saying that the pot is cute, but the plant is not so much. So I did order this myself. So I will do a future video with probably a Target haul and maybe updating you guys on some of the newer items that hit the store in just a little bit. But yeah, I think that this looks really cute and I took a chance and Target has a great return policy. So I just figured I'd order it while it was still in stock. Um, they also have this really pretty flowering thyme pot. And this one is really cute because it has little flowers on it, which I just think is such a sweet detail, especially for spring coming up. So those are some really pretty ones. I love adding new faux greenery to my space just to kind of refresh it, especially when they have that really gorgeous neutral rustic look, which is what I'm personally drawn to. I think that it just makes your home look really expensive and nice for those of us who cannot keep real plants alive. So this flowering thyme potted one actually has a lot better reviews than the other one. It's kind of hard to tell because there's only two reviews to go off of on each one, but it looks really cute in their photos. So that is a really good one to order if you are in need of some new faux plants. Okay, so another item that I saw that I loved instantly as soon as I saw it was this faceted ceramic vase in tan with hearth and hand in magnolia. And it comes in an eight inch size and a 10 inch size. And I just think that this looks so pretty if you wanna pop some rustic stems in there or even some really pretty spring stems. I love the texture on here and um, they have it here in this photo with some really pretty ferns that she has in her new collection as well. I did see those in store and I thought that they looked really realistic. I love how they're kind of, you know, twiggy and long. I think that that looks really nice when you're trying to make a statement with stems. So I think those would look really pretty paired in this vase. It's only $20 for the large size and then $14.99 for the smaller size. So I really, really like this. I think that it's such a designer looking piece and definitely one of those at a really good price point. So another thing that I saw and I was really impressed by that is actually not Threshold by Studio McGee or Hearth and Hand with Magnolia. It is Opal House Design with Jungalo. It is this double handle ceramic table lamp. And I just think it is such a unique, expensive looking piece. This looks very restoration hardware to me, and it does come in two colors, white or black, but I personally am more drawn to the black one. I love the handle detail on there, and it is $70, and I think that it looks really gorgeous. This would be pretty popped on a console table or on a little side table, or you know, if you just need that little extra punch of lighting on a desk or something. I like that it's kind of tall and narrow, and so it kind of gives you a little bit more freedom to put some more things around it versus a big honking statement lamp. I think that's kind of fun. So I just thought it was kind of unique. Unique. It has decent reviews and $70 for a rustic looking lamp is really great. So another thing that I found that I really liked was this linen tray by Threshold with Studio McGee. And you know, you just cannot have too many trays in my personal opinion. I think they're great to organize things. They're great on, you know, a kitchen counter. They're great on a bathroom counter. They're great on a coffee table or a console table just to group some of those items that otherwise by themselves would kind of look a little messy. So um, I think that this is a really fun natural material. It keeps your space feeling very down to earth and organic, which I personally love incorporating pieces like that into my decor. I love that casual elegance. I love the brass detail of the handles. So definitely a really pretty fun piece for only 25 bucks, has decent reviews so far. So one of those items from this new collection that I'm really looking forward to seeing in person. They also have this really pretty jasmine in a basket. I think this is so cute for spring. It has little jasmine flowers on there. And I love the woven wicker, again, bringing in those those natural kind of woven outdoorsy materials. I think that's really pretty. So it is $25 for this little guy.
guy. This one has really good reviews so far. To me, it looks like the greenery is very realistic looking and it's something different. You know, it's not a fern, but it's great for springtime or you could even use it year round since, you know, there's just a couple little flowers and they're very neutral. I think that this is a really great investment piece that is very versatile. You can pop it all around your home, put it in different spots. So I also love the pot that it comes in. I think that that's kind of a cute detail with that woven kind of rattan look. So yeah, definitely a cute one for $25. Another lamp that I saw that I really liked was this ceramic jar shaped accent lamp. I did see it in store and I really liked the look of it. I just forgot to film it or something happened to that footage. I'm not really sure, but it comes in three colors and it's only $20. I personally am drawn to the brown one. I think that it's just like a nice, subtle kind of rustic-y look. Um, this is a great little table accent lamp for maybe a desk or a console table or something like that. I think that this is so cute and definitely a great value for $20. Okay, so next this item is actually already sold out, but I know I would be a traitor to all my fellow olive stem lovers if I didn't include it. It is this olive potted arrangement and I love the vase that this comes in. So in the past they had an olive stem arrangement in just a white vase, but I really like this one because they took it a step further with the rustic details and creating that kind of aged tan vase for the base. <laughs> so this guy is $30 and with things that are out of stock in this new collection, you can hit that notify me when it is back in stock and it will send you an email. So I've done that many times before so you don't miss it when it comes back. So I love this piece. I think it is so gorgeous. It's definitely a statement piece. It would look pretty maybe on a kitchen island or a coffee table. It would look so spa-like just placed in a master bath or you know your bathroom, something like that. I think it just kind of really speaks for itself and is one of those pieces that really makes it easy to you know incorporate minimalistic decor in your space because it is very large and takes up a lot of space with those stems sticking out and you don't really need much else to clutter with it it feels very spa like and very designer so you would just need this to stand alone if you put it in a bathroom or something like that so definitely a gorgeous piece and worth hitting that notify me when it's back in stock button <laughs> okay and lastly this one has been available for a little while it is the arbon wood dowel accent chair with cushion arms and I just think that this looks so designer because it's not, you know, your basic upholstered chair with wood accents. It just has a little bit something extra in its lines and its design. And I think that it looks a lot more expensive than it is. So this guy is $300 and it comes in a light gray linen and a natural linen, but the light gray almost has like a green tone to it, which I really love. I think that green and olive greens are really coming back in. And for those of us who kind of want to, you know, invest in some green decor, but we don't want to go too crazy. I think this is a great option. The reviews do say that this chair is very uncomfortable. So this could be good for like a sitting room or something if you just wanted to up the aesthetic of the room and maybe you weren't sitting in the chair so much. But I don't know a lot of us who do that. I don't know. I personally, I want to sit in my chairs, but I do think that this is a really pretty piece. And if you are just looking for like an aesthetically pleasing chair, this is a good one. All right, you guys. So that about wraps up this video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing all of the new decor that is in store for Target this year. There is so much more to come, so definitely make sure you're subscribed if you like this video because I will be making lots more as more decor hits the site. So thank you guys again so much for watching and for all of your kind support. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I hope that you have a happy and safe new year and that 2022 brings great things for all of you. So thanks again so much for watching you guys and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!